Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. video today we're having a look at a misguided haul now I haven't shopped at misguided in I think it's been almost a year the last time that I shopped there I made this video and uh, I discovered the brand because of an influencer called Kayla Hadlington and this dress the whole story is on that original video if you haven't seen it it's linked down below what I really like about misguided is the pictures are very very accurate for the items I find that with Pretty Little Thing and Boo Hoo, what, what you're ordering based on the picture is not what you're gonna get. But with Misguided, it's really, really accurate. The colors are really accurate. So when I see a pastel piece of clothing in a photo on Misguided, I know it's actually gonna be really, really lovely in pastel. Unlike on Pretty Little Thing, where I'll order something that looks like it's buttercup yellow and it comes out like a fluoro green highlighter. So anyway, I decided to shop there again because of this one particular piece of clothing that people kept tagging me in constantly. I'll show you later, it's a surprise. But anyway, let's start off with the first outfit because I'm ready to jump into it. A lot of this stuff is really, really pretty and I'm really excited to show you. We have new merch, thank you for reminding me. We have these pins here, they're available on Once Upon a Pin. You can shop them individually or as a trio. So uh, yeah, the link for that is in the description below. And uh, I feel like I had another announcement. What was it? What was I meant to be telling them? My hair! You may notice my hair is a little bit more orange than usual. Uh, in anticipation of Game of Thrones coming out in one week, I've turned myself into Sun Stark. I've never dyed my hair before, but I went to the drugstore and I found this uh, really, really fluoro orange washout dye that's semi-permanent and I took it to my hairdresser. I took it to my hairdresser and I was like, can you help me put this in please? So she did it yesterday uh, and I'm kind of happy with it. It's not exactly what I wanted. It's not quite even, but I, I have to wash it again and hopefully it'll wash out really nicely. So that's that. That's why I'm more ginger than usual. So anyway, it's uh, time to try on these clothes. And the first outfit that I want to show you is actually this one that I'm wearing right now. So this is a two piece. I have a bodysuit on underneath. It's this purple cherub bodysuit. It's $36. And also this oversized t-shirt is $36 as well. I actually put this outfit on yesterday I was going to film this video yesterday and I put this outfit on and I fell asleep on the couch and then I woke up in bed so Daniel must have like picked me up and put me in bed and I was still wearing this so I have slept in this overnight and it's so comfortable this this is so comfortable I can't even begin to explain to you guys how much I love it but the bodysuit so here is the bodysuit on its own. Uh, just so you guys can see how extreme this bodysuit is. Uh, I've put on some stockings to protect my modesty, but here it is. Uh, <laughs> so uh, as you can see, like I said, it's, it's like sitting on a bench saw. So um, I feel like for this to be comfortable, your torso would literally need to look like this. Uh, and obviously no one looks like that. So I feel like if you want to get away with wearing this You, you just have to wear it with that unbuttoned that that's all you can really do and also from the back I mean, it's it's it just let's not go there So aside from that from 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 here upwards very nice on with the next outfit So next up we have this a uh, denim uh, sweater dress kind of thing shirt dress now in the pictures I thought this was uh, very light yellow and it is but the color name on the website is actually stone I think which is strange because this this definitely looks like buttercup yellow to me right wouldn't you say this looks awesome on the model here it is now this is expensive this one is $60 and look I haven't put it on yet but I don't think that's worth it I'll see maybe I can even put it on over the top of what I'm wearing what have you got Archie oh, what? to me no give, give it to me give it to me let go okay he, he's got a, a ball of some sort how am I supposed to put my clothes on if you're on my shoulder up up sorry I'm sorry oh I'm so sorry okay so here it is uh, I'm probably supposed to be wearing this on its own without anything underneath I, I figure I would definitely be layering this this is yeah, this is literally denim and it's not soft like it's it's sort of very coarse chunky denim and I feel like if I had this directly on my skin with nothing underneath it it wouldn't be very comfortable hello oh hi do you like it 
So for $60, I don't know if this one is entirely worth it. I mean, those first two as well, they were $36 each. These ones I'm wearing underneath, and I don't think they're worth it either. I'm talking in Australian dollars today, guys, just so you know. And these first three pieces are quite overpriced for what they are. Although, let me know what you think. Do you think with your experience with denim jackets, is $60 a lot? There is a lot of denim going on here, like a significant amount of denim. I'm really getting into this more sort of casual, laid back, almost somewhat pastel grungy clothes, if that makes sense. I do kind of feel like a giant tub of margarine, but that's a really nice aesthetic. I don't mind that at all. Oh, she's going straight for the buttons. There is one thing that I don't like about this, and that is the buttons. The buttons are just like these tiny little plastic buttons, and I kind of feel like if these had been nice big metal buttons, that would have been much nicer. I don't like that they're plastic. But aside from that, it feels quite well made. It's a little bit warm, which is to be expected. But yeah, I love this color. I think this is so, so nice. I'm gonna keep this one for sure. They style it on the model with a pair of high heels, and I think it looks really, really cool. So this one is a thumbs up for style, and it's an eh for the price. This next one is $50 and look, I'm really thinking that this website is very, very overpriced for what it is, but I'll wait until I put it on before I make a judgment. So I had to really fight to get my hands on this. I put it in my cart and then when I went to check out, it said it was sold out. But then I refreshed the page five times and then it let me add it to the cart. I wasn't really sure if it would actually turn up or not, but here it is, a like pastel rugby kind of sweater dress. I really love these colors. The color combination of pink, blue, and white is just to die for. Now, they only had one left. Like I said, it, it was all sold out. And then when I refreshed the page, it showed me that there was a size four left. So this is a size four. So I don't know if I'll be able to wear this as a dress or not. Uh, it's supposed to be worn as a dress. So let's try it on and see. Okay, so luckily for me, the size four does fit like a dress. It's, it's a short dress to be fair, but it does fit me like a dress. I love these colors so much. This is just, uh, this is epic, but $50, that's a lot. 50 bucks for like what basically just feels like a standard $20 polo. As you can see, when I lift my arms, it does ride up a lot. I think that may be because this is a size four, but luckily for me, I did pick up another version of this top because this comes in a whole bunch of different designs, this style. This is the entire reason for this haul, the next one that I'm going to show you. And I picked up the next one in a size six and a size eight. So you guys will be able to see how the sizes differ between the four, six and the eight. Okay, so next up is this one. And this is the item that people kept sending me that made me go on the website. Oops, dropped it. How do I balance all these things? Where's the opening, Archie? Where's the opening? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, I just noticed it actually says limited edition. I didn't even notice that. I just looked at the colors and I was like, I need it. Okay, so here it is. It's a color block sweater dress. These colors are stunning together, uh, at least on, on the left side. I really like the purple and the blue. I don't know about the this color, baby puke, I guess you'd call that. And then not quite buttercup yellow. But anyway, as a whole, it's a really pretty looking item. Now this one is a size six. So just having a look, I can see a, a very significant difference in the length between the four that I'm wearing and the six. Now bear in mind, this is actually the same thing. It's under the same listing. It's just a different color option. So. I would assume that they would be the same. Actually, no, wait. This one has a band around the bottom, and that one doesn't. They're, they're on the same listing, so anyway, I guess I was wrong, sorry. But let's try this one on now. I'm very excited for this. This is so pretty. Okay, so just like the other one, this one is $50 as well. I'm much more inclined to pay $50 for this than $50 for the previous one, purely because this one is just so my style, it's incredible. This is a size six, it says limited edition down here, false advertising, I'm sure it's not limited edition. Maybe I'm limited edition, maybe that's what it's implying. I think this one would be pretty nice dressed up with some sneakers, some socks, a little backpack. It's really, really casual and laid back. It's really, really comfortable. I love the fit of it. It's a perfect length for me. When I lift up my arms, it's not atrociously short like the other one was. So this one, I do kind of feel a little bit like a, a Neapolitan tub of ice cream or something. And I, I love that so much. So this one, despite being too expensive, it does get a thumbs up for me. I also picked up exactly the same one in a size eight because I wasn't sure if the size six would be too short. The size six is a perfect length for me though. So I'm not gonna open this one. I might just give this one away. If anyone's a size eight and they want this, leave a comment below, tell me, I'll pick someone and uh, I'll send this one to you. So I'm not gonna open that. I'm really excited about this next 
one, and I think that Archie will be too, because it's a green skirt, Archie's favorite color. This skirt was really, really flattering on the model. I love the way that it cinches in at the waist. Very excited to try this one on. I'm just gonna put on a white top that I got from Fashion Nova with this one, because the model is wearing a white top, so I'll be back. Okay, here it is. So what you guys don't see going on behind the scenes is that it took me like five minutes to get into this skirt. I don't know why, it was just so difficult. It zips up at the back, there's a zipper here, and it's also got this belt included, and the belt was done up, and I had to undo the zipper, and then I couldn't get into it because of the belt, and I had to undo the belt, and then because it's corduroy, the belt was sticking to the skirt, and I was trying to yank it open, and it was, it was all very difficult, and then it was kind of difficult to zip up as well. But now that it's done, this is awesome. I love this so much. I think that this skirt design, where it kind of sort of fluffs up at the top here, like, like it's spilling over, like the skirt has a muffin top. I love it. It's so cute. And it's corduroy. So corduroy is very, very vintage, really, really... Oh, what? What? No, 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 stop, stop, stop. It's not an almond. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> it's funny, when I was like... When I was at the hairdresser yesterday, she said to me, do you ever wear green? I was wearing that purple thing that you saw before. I was like, I don't have very much green. And she's like, well, with your new hair, you should wear more green because it's gonna look great. And I think so. I think this green complements my hair perfectly. I think it complements Archie perfectly as well. You like it, don't you? I think you do. So the price for this one on the website was $50 when I paid for it. Uh, and now it's on sale and it's come down to 34. The buggers. If I had waited a couple of days, I would have saved a lot of money. There's no way in the world this is worth $50. Like, oh, look how big it is. It's just a tiny little skirt. It's not worth $50. $34 though, absolutely. So if you go on and you see this for that price, I would recommend picking it up because it's a really nice design. Does it have pockets? No pockets. Okay, it's worth $20. If this had pockets, I would justify the 50 probably. But uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think. Do you think this is worth 50 bucks? I don't think so in the slightest. I'm definitely gonna hang on to this one though, not gonna return this, I love it. I mean, I've paid the money, I'm gonna make some ad revenue from this video so I can justify spending 50 bucks, but for the everyday consumer, if you're just buying clothes for yourself, you're not gonna put them on YouTube or anything like that. $50, what a joke. I feel, I'm getting like progressively more and more angry as this video goes on. I, I think some of these prices are actually an outrage. <laughs> so anyway, on to the next one. I picked up exactly the same skirt, but this one's in pink. Uh, now that I know how upset I was about the uh, value for money, I'm almost hesitant to even try this one on, but I wanna show you guys. So it's funny, I have like a corduroy skirt a bit like this that I got from Romwe and it was $5 and it feels exactly the same. So I don't know how Misguided can justify the $50 price tag, but anyway, let's try this one on. I don't know why it's so hard to put on. It's not tight, it's just like really awkward to get the zipper up. I feel like the corduroy fabric being so thick makes it really hard to work with. Like. And now Archie's come to make it even more difficult. Okay, I'm gonna give up. I'm, I'm not gonna try and do this up at the back. It's just too much of a pain. No, what are you doing? Okay, so which color do you guys like better? Do you like the pink or the green better? I think I like the green better. I'm not certain though. The pink is very cute, but like I said, I just can't get it out of my mind that I have that pink one from Romwe. That's very similar. I mean, it doesn't have this nice sort of uh, muffin top at the top here, but you, I feel like you could easily create something like that yourself. Like you could just get baggy enough fabric and put a belt around it and ta-da! Just buy something a couple of sizes up and it might even have the similar effect. I'm not, I'm not certain, don't quote me on that. Next up is something that you guys might recognize from my first misguided haul. Now, I bought this last year when I did that first haul and it was like $120 from memory and I couldn't justify it. And then when I was shopping for this video, I spotted it and it's only $80 now. So, because this, it's faux fur and the fur on the inside is incredibly soft. And then it's got this like other sort of fur texture here, which is incredible too. I love this so much and I got rid of it last time because I just couldn't justify it. So now I have it. Can you, how am I supposed to, excuse me, hello, up, up, up. Okay, so here it is. Now, in my last video, I kept saying to people, what do you think? Should I keep it? Should I return it? There was such a mixed response last time. Half of the people were like, keep, and half of them were saying, return. 
So anyway, I feel like because I was tossing and turning and tossing and turning and you know flip flopping for so long, I, I just may as well keep it because I don't have any nice sort of blue jackets like this. With a belt or something, that would probably look really nice, belted up like that, but it just kind of hangs open and there's no buttons and there's no pockets. So that was part of the reason that I didn't think it was worth $120 because that's absolute blasphemy to not have pockets. But anyway, it's just the shade of blue is really, really pretty and I couldn't resist getting it at the reduced price. So tell me what you guys think. Have I made the right decision? Was it a good thing to get this again or have I just like made the same mistake twice? I, I don't know, but I'm happy. I'm very happy with it. So, uh-oh, are you here to chew? Well, I better take this off before he chews on it. So this next one was $60, but I got it reduced at $24. So I think $24 is reasonable. $60 is just... What sort of game are these people playing at? Here it is. It looked adorable because it has little pom-poms. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's got little pom-poms on it and the pom-poms make love hearts. So this one... Oh. How dare you? Let's put this on. I'm worried it could possibly be a bit itchy because sometimes these knitted fabrics can be very, very uncomfortable. So I'm a little bit nervous. Okay. You know, that is not edible. <laughs> okay, so here it is. I actually really, really like this. If this is still on sale, I recommend it for the 24 dollar price tag but if this has come off sale and it's 60 bucks just forget about it like it, it doesn't feel that good personally i mean i would expect like cashmere or something for 60 bucks look, look I, I don't know much about fabric guys but I, I expect a little bit better it just feels like an average kind of knit that you get from like forever 21 or something like that yes yes they are very cute i know not edible not edible you just keep keep your distance you stay over there stay away yeah, so I think I'll keep this one because I think it's really cute, really unique. As you guys know, I do love the grandma aesthetic. So this one gets a pass from me at the reduced price, which is basically what I'm saying about every single thing on this website. It gets a pass if it costs less. <laughs> but this design is very cute. I actually really like it with this skirt too. I think tucked into this skirt. I haven't tucked it in properly, but you get the idea. I think it looks really, really nice with the skirt too. So this one, very cute. It gets a very cute and some nods from Archie. When you thought I was done complaining, I'm back to complain some more about the prices on this website because these next two items, this is ridiculous. This jacket is $80 and this skirt is $50. I mean, admittedly, I think they're denim. Yes, they're, yes, they're denim. Well, is denim just expensive? Is that, am I missing something here? Is denim just expensive? So anyway, what I really like about this is that it's striped and it's kind of vintage-y, but actually after I paid for this, I did notice on the website they had this, which I probably would have liked a lot more than this. But anyway, so this is a skirt here. It looks like a very short skirt. Ugh. I got this in a size six, cause that's my size, but now I'm starting to think perhaps I should have gone for an eight, for a little bit of length. Here's the matching jacket. Now, obviously because it's denim, they both feel very, very stiff. Have to give them some time to kind of, have to wear it a lot more for it to kind of loosen up and soften up a little bit. But I'll pop this back on with the white top. Okay, well, here's the skirt. As for most things denim, it was quite difficult to squeeze into. Uh, I did get into it eventually and it's fine around my waist. It's a little bit tight around here. So this is another one of those things where I'm really between sizes. I'm between a six and an eight. So perhaps if I'd gone for the eight, I could have just worn a belt. Does it have? Yes, it has belt holes, so that's good. Now the jacket, it's all buttoned up, but this is what I was talking about. Look at this. See how these are like metal buttons? This is what I was saying with that yellow one from earlier. It had plastic buttons and like really, really small plastic buttons. So I feel like if that yellow one had, had metal buttons like this, it would have been so much more worth it. Archie, no, stop. Okay, so here's the set. This feels very like, Instagram teen, you know, there's those Instagram girls that they wear kind of vintagey looking stuff. This feels very Instagram. I'm a little bit torn because I always have this issue with cropped denim jackets. I find that they look so big, but also they're, they're small at the same time. And I just think that proportionately it looks very strange, but I have had my subscribers tell me in the past that I should roll up the sleeves and that might make me like it more. So, I mean, now it just looks like I have huge biceps. <laughs> Do you guys like it? This is very expensive. This is an $80 jacket and a $50 skirt. You could go on a much cheaper website and get a very, very similar look for so much less. 
So I don't know, this one, I don't think that this gets tick of approval from me at all. Aesthetically, it's very cute, but look, I'm sorry. This is just like 25 minutes of pretty pastel pleas complaining about how expensive things are. The next item in this set is actually the matching jeans. So if you're not a fan of how short the skirt is, you can always go for the mum jeans, but given how difficult it is for me to squeeze into the skirt, I don't think I have any hope of getting into these pants. It's so strange because like, you can fit a size six in everything except the denim. Like the, the denim for me, oh hang on, size eight. Oh good, I, I thought ahead. Uh, give me half an hour and I'll be back. Oh my God, I'm like halfway through filming and I just realized I've rubbed off my eyebrows <laughs> while I was trying on the clothes. Oh no. Okay, so here they are. I'm quite a fan. I've been really, really digging striped pants. This is the first pair of striped pants that I've bought since I started loving this trend. This is a cute outfit. I, I do really, really like this. My only issue with the pants is because they are a size eight, they're not fitting me right. I feel like I would fit a size six in the legs, but then at the waist, so there's actually a fair bit of room here, which is fine, I can put a belt around it. But also around here, this is really unflattering. Like this is, this is not making a nice shape. I'm looking at it in the mirror and the Pokemon Cloister comes to mind. So anyway, these pants, hang on, how much are they? I didn't look. I'm gonna guess that these are $70. Let me check. I'm pleasantly surprised. There are only 56. Okay, these are worth it. I, this is sick. The jacket though, for 70 bucks. How can they do the jeans for 56? but the jacket for 70. That makes no sense. This is a look. I feel like the skirt can f off, but the top, the jacket and the jeans together, that's a look. I'm very excited to wear this outfit. I've actually been color coordinating my Instagram feed. If you follow me, it's pretty pastel, please. I've been going in color coordinated order. So when I get to the yellow slash orange week, you will see this on my Instagram. So don't forget to follow me. So yeah, this one, this is, this is cool. But the jeans, I don't know, what do you guys do if jeans are that little bit too baggy? Are you supposed to like sit in a cold bath or something? Or is that just like an old wives tale? Or do I put them in the dryer? If these fitted me like that, that'd be perfect. I forgot to show you the jeans from the back. There they are. These next pants, these are $60 and I've just had a huge realization. I know that I just spent the past 20 minutes complaining about how expensive everything is, but I realized something. My invoice is not showing me the price that I paid, it's showing me the full price, and it just dawned on me that Misguided is one of those websites where it's always got a banner at the top of the page, and it's like, enter the code HAPPY50 for 50% off. I think that I actually got all of these at 50% off because I picked these up and I looked at the price just then and it was $60 and I screamed at myself. I was like, I did not pay $60 for those. I probably got these at 50% off with one of those coupons, but it's really weird because the invoice doesn't show that. My invoice just shows the full price, but anyway, just bear in mind, full price, these are $60, but I'm highly skeptical. <laughs> I don't think these would be worth $60 in any way at all because uh, they feel extremely cheap. They feel like, mm, they kind of feel a little bit like, like a, like a shirt. Yes, like a button up shirt. That's what this feels like. These are blue cargo pants. I've been kind of digging the cargo pants trend lately. I mean, there's a very slight, very small part of me that wants to be an Insta baddie and not just a pretty pastel princess. So this is feeding that side of me. Lengthwise, they look like they're a pretty good length. They do cinch in at the bottom here. They're elastic like this. Oh, geez. They look like they're supposed to be elastic. Okay, not, not really. I feel like I, I foresee trouble coming my way. <laughs> Dude, what? No, hang on, excuse me. My thugs. My instant baddie. They're kind of cool. Uh, they were a little bit difficult to get into. That hole that your feet go through was not forgiving. That was a real pain. But now that they're on, I kind of feel like they're they're falling in a really unusual way. Look how on this leg it looks. I don't know. It just it looks really uneven. How do I how do I make this look better? These, I got them in a six, and they're a little bit loose at the waist, 
So I'm finding a tiny little bit of inconsistency with the sizing. I guess really item by item, you just have to check your measurements. I suppose they make some items different to how they make other items. These have big pockets here. The pockets don't seal. They don't have zips and they don't have buttons. So don't put anything particularly valuable in there because when you're chucking your Insta baddie squat, you might lose your keys or something. I've paired these with my Windsor Smith chunky sneakers because in the picture she was like this with chunky sneakers. So I figured I would complete the look by doing that as well. Style-wise, I don't know, if you're, if you're not into this style, you might look at these and think they kind of look like you'd wear them to prison or something, I don't know. Maybe with a chain or like with a really cool belt, I feel like I could really accessorize this and it would look really cool. So I think I am gonna keep these pants just for the sake of like, I'm trying to expand my style a little bit and try to be a little bit more cool and stuff like that. But tell me, what do you guys think about these pants? They're $60. So these next pants are $56 on the website, but they are reduced at the moment. So these, I'm very excited. I hope these are as nice as they look. They're corduroy and it's like very, very thick corduroy. Look at the, look how the lines are like really, really, really thick. These look so nice and they feel very soft too. I hope that these are super long. Something that I always have a problem with is that pants are never long enough for me. I loved these pants here from YesStyle, but they were just too short. So I hope that these come all the way down. These are again, the type of pants, they're a little bit like that skirt where they have the muffin tops that they, you cinch them in. So I got these in, Got these in an Australian size eight, I believe, because that was the closest size that they had left. So it doesn't really matter because of the belt. I feel like even if they're a little bit too big, I'll be able to cinch in the belt. Okay, so let's try these ones on. I'm very excited. I don't know, guys. I was so excited for these, but I don't know what I think about them. I think they, they, oh, well, I haven't, I haven't even done the belt up yet. How can I pass judgment? I haven't even worn them properly. Hang on. Oops, sorry. Okay, so color-wise, I give these a 10 out of 10. This is like the perfect shade of blue. I really, really like it. They don't quite sit right. However, they've sort of designed this, you know, pattern or whatever you, is it, is it pattern? Is that what seamstresses would call it? I, I guess so. The, the way that these are designed, they don't fall right. I have these beautiful pink trousers, these ones here. They're about the same length as these and they fall in the most beautiful way. These, I don't know, they don't quite seem to be falling right, but I think I'm gonna keep these because they're just, they're really nice. Like the, the color is amazing. And I feel like, you know, depending on how you stand, they definitely look different. I, you probably have to be wearing high shoes to sort of let the full length of them flow. They're really, really long. Just keep that in mind. Like I'm five foot eight, five foot nine. I'm kind of in between five foot eight and five foot nine. And as you can see, they're kind of, they're very long. <laughs> so you might have to take them up if you really, really like these. But hey, you can always take them up, but you can't add more fabric. So I'm glad that these are as long as they are. So it's showing that they're $34 at the reduced price, which is 110% worth it. Honestly, I'd be more inclined to pay more for these than the denim. I don't know why, I'm just weird. Maybe it's because they're pastel blue and I just really like pastel blue. I think they're really, really well made and they're very soft and they're super comfortable. And because they're so baggy, like you could eat five pizzas and have a huge tummy and they, it would be totally fine. Like it's very, very forgiving. It's not too tight around here. They're cool. I was originally like, eh, I don't know, but the longer that I look in the mirror, I'm like, no, this is sick. These next ones are kind of similar in terms of, they again have the belted muffin top, but these are pink and these are uh, I guess these are very similar material to the cargo pants. Now I do have my all time favorite pair of pink trousers in the world already. And I don't think that these are going to replace them. They're quite soft. They do feel a little bit thin, but they're very, very soft. Okay, so these are marked as $56 as well. Like I said, they're very, very cheap fabric. These are from the tall section. That's why they're so long. I've had to put my chunky sneakers on because they were like trailing so far on the floor. But I think they're very, very cool. Look how long this belt is. I love it. These I got in a size six and they're fitting really nicely. I think they're very flattering how they come up so high. They cinch in at the waist. If those blue corduroy pants fit like these ones fit, those would be the coolest pants in the world. I think that these look a lot more flattering than those pants, but also it's such a shame that they're so, so cheap. And no pockets, no pockets. There are no pockets, absolutely unacceptable. Very disgruntled right now. And partially tempted to ask Sam to sew on some pockets for me because I just, 
Ah, oh, it just feels so wrong. Like, you need pockets. If you want to look cool and sophisticated and chic, you want to be like... I think they're really cool. I think that a lot of you guys will like these pants, but like I said, they're from the tall section, so they are extremely long, but I like that because I always wear heels with my pants, and I actually really like the pants to cover the heels. Does that make sense? Probably wouldn't wear sneakers with these, but this is this is cool. These get a pass. Next up, I have another pair of trousers. I came to realize something. I didn't buy a single dress in this video. So if you if you want to see some dresses from Misguided, just check out the first Misguided video. Oop. Oh yes, you're definitely going to be able to see my undies. I can see the camera through these, so you'll you'll be able to see my undies. So uh, invest in some good nude, sheer body hugging undies if you're gonna wear pants like this. I thought that these would have a button or a belt or, or something, but no, they're literally just, that's, that's all it is, it, it's just like that. All right, I'm, I'm gonna put it on with a white top. There's gonna be a lot of white going on here, but these, uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't put any shoes on with these, so you can see how long they are. I believe these are again from the tall section. So I guess with a pair of heels, they'd be like that. They're extremely high-waisted. Look how high-waisted these are. These, like, that's my bra. They come all the way up to my bra. So yeah, you definitely have to be careful what sort of undies that you wear with these. They're not very forgiving. They're, they're not particularly flattering, unless I guess maybe like a new G-string or something would make them a little bit more presentable, but I, I think I like them. There's no pockets. I don't know what Misguided has against pockets. What did pockets ever do to them? But aside from that, look, there's so much white going on here. I have a real ABBA thing. Like I, I've done it so many times in so many of my videos. Look at me now, will I ever learn? I don't know how to pick pants that are my size. How much are these? $60? Okay, well if they're $30, they're, they're only eh worth it. $60, look, if these weren't reduced with a discount code, no way in heck. Uh, I wouldn't pay any more than $20 for these. That's just how they feel. Like, they don't feel that well made. The, the fabric is not particularly comfortable either. It's kind of like rough. I do love the shape that they give me though. And the last few items in this video are indeed the official uniform of the beauty community. That's right, it is snake print. Now, I don't know if it's because the model was just absolutely glorious, or if I secretly like snake print and I didn't know, but I was so drawn to these when I saw them on the website. They just looked so cool. I'm a little bit nervous to see what it looks like. This is really cool though, because it's such a light green color. So there's the top and then there's a really long pencil skirt. These feel quite thin, but they're very, very stretchy. And I feel like the snake print will disguise any weird lumps and bumps that there might be. So let's try these. This top is so little that it barely covers my bra. You can see my bra sticking out there. So you'd have to be pretty careful. Like it's just such a small piece of fabric, even at the back, like it so easily shows the bra. So I'm not sure about this top in particular. I feel like it's a little bit too small. The skirt, the skirt's nice. I don't know, I feel like a, an evil villain. Actually, I kind of feel like Nagini right now. <sighs> this is actually really, really cheap at the moment. I think that the skirt is like $8 and the top is 16 or something. I'll, I'll put the prices up here. The skirt is $12 and the top is eight. So that's reduced, but I really, really like it. Although I feel like the next one, there's two more pieces. I think I like that outfit a little bit more than this one. I don't know, this one's just a tiny little bit too tight for me, but my hairdresser was right. The green does complement the bright orange hair very well. So let's jump into the next one. Okay, so the last pieces are a turtleneck and flared pants. Now I adore flared pants. I just, ugh. I think they're incredible. I think these are going to be quite long, so they'll look nice with high heels. Here they are. Okay, there they are. They are indeed quite long. They literally look like snakes. So the top is a turtleneck, so I love turtlenecks, as you guys might know. And literally, turtlenecks are one of my favorite things ever. So I feel like I'll like this outfit a lot more than the one that I'm wearing right now. The one that I'm wearing right now is just a little bit too revealing and too tight. But here's, here's the top. Ah, oh, there we go. So that top is a lot longer than the top that I'm wearing right now. So this is a lot more promising. Okay, so this top is $14 and the pants are $14 too. I feel like a superhero or a super villain or a beauty guru. Take a pick. Anyway, I love this outfit. Ooh, I'm gonna keep 
this for sure. These pants are sick. They're a little bit revealing at the back, so have to be careful with the undies that I wear with these. But like I said, because of all the really, really heavy print, it is quite forgiving. It does disguise a lot of sins. Uh, the top is only fractionally longer than the other one, but it is okay. Like I'm lifting up my arms and it's not showing my bra, so it's all right. I do love the turtle leg. I think it's amazing. So this, this one for 14 and 14, definitely worth it. Okay guys, that's it. That's everything. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, we would love it if you would join the flock. Don't forget to check out our merch. The link is in the description below. Let me know what your favorite items were. Let me know what is to keep and what is to eat. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.